Hey everyone, and welcome to group break number 23. Today we've got four boxes each of 2019-20 Series 1, 2019-20 Series 2, and then 2019-20 SP Authentic. Going to chase after all of the young guns from this year and also hopefully hit some big future watch autographs out of SP Authentic. But yeah, it's going to be a fun break. Lots of good stuff that can come out of it. So uh, let's get right into things here with the random. So we'll switch on over. Thank you to everyone who purchased a spot here. Um, we're going to go ahead and hop into our good friend random.org here. Random the list of names off three times and the teams off three times. Remember, this is only a 30 spot break because Calgary and Minnesota are combined. Uh, third time on the names here, we got Ian on top and Shane on the bottom. And we'll come back in and paste her down here. There we go. And grab the team. So again, if you hit the Flames wild spot, you get both teams. Uh, it just helps balance things out a little bit because uh, the Flames don't have any rookies this year, so they're a little bit weaker. Um, and yeah, that uh, helps a lot. All right, so Islanders on top. Capitals on the bottom. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. And starting things off with Ian, you have the New York Islanders. Ethan Jacob with the Carolina Hurricanes. Ryan Turner with the St. Louis Blues. Shane Carlton, you have the Dallas Stars. Peter with the Anaheim Ducks. Xavier Schwinard, you have the Vancouver Canucks. That's a good one. Jordan Norris with the LA Kings. Dante DeVillis with the Vegas Golden Knights. Robert Copeland with the Arizona Coyotes. Mike Cavalier. Uh, with the San Jose Sharks, Damian Lovett with the Edmonton Oilers, Jenna C with the Columbus Blue Jackets, Paul Smitsko with the uh, Buffalo Sabres, Caleb Lipman with the Montreal Canadiens, Bill Cunningham with the New Jersey Devils, Paul, you've got the Colorado Avalanche, C. Leong with the National Predators, Kirsty Smithers with the Toronto Maple Leafs, Shane, you've got the Boston Bruins, Brian Mueller, you've got the Florida Panthers. Kevin McCray Gibson with the Tampa Bay Lightning, Paul with the Pittsburgh Penguins and Ottawa Senators, Matt Fennell with the New York Rangers, Taryn Deep with the Philadelphia Flyers, Vince with the Detroit Red Wings, Brian with the Chicago Blackhawks, Vince with the Calgary Flames and Minnesota Wild, Selena with the Winnipeg Jets, and Shane, you've got the Washington Capitals. So just leave these up for a couple of seconds here. Going to grab a screenshot and upload it. Uh, that way, once the, uh, once the break starts, I can just quickly paste it in so people can see what they have. All right, I got that. Go ahead and save it. Yeah, so good luck everyone. Um, one of the sleeper teams in this product, it said this in the prior one, is uh, actually Carolina because they have David Ayer stuff. Um, so yeah, they're actually pretty decent here. Let me switch the camera back over so you're not staring at the spreadsheet anymore. Um, they have the David Ayer's Young Gun, which is still holding decent value. Um, you know, I, I think it'll probably uh, it'll probably drop a little bit more, but overall, it's still going to be you know fairly highly valued just because it's it's an odd like I wouldn't call it, well it is an oddball card. Um, link to teams. There we go. All right, so link to teams is in the chat. There we go. And again, I think uh, the Thursday breaks already sold out for next week. There will be a Saturday break. Uh, it's just working on getting it all posted up. So um, stay tuned for that one. Uh, but yeah, so there we go. That's all the teams, everything like that. Um, Carolina, definitely a sleeper team though. Uh, really like uh, how they can be. I think they have, uh, do they have Sveshnikov update stuff? Um, I remember that they might have had no they just have uh some other stuff but yeah no carolina's not a bad team to have they have jake bean stuff that's i think who they have uh in sp authentic so uh anyways let me just get back to where i was on the checklist there we go all right here we go so we'll start with uh box one here we'll go we'll go uh series one and then series two and then probably back to series one series two um we'll see though i might i don't know i like saving the sp authentic for the end just because you know it adds a little bit of suspense but also it kind of you know spreads the breakout throughout if we have it uh intermittent between all the boxes so we'll see we'll open up the first two boxes here of series one and series two and um go from there so there we go box one is empty and 
here we go. Again, as always, we'll sleeve the uh, top young guns as we go along and all the top hits, uh, anything that's like uh, really good. Um, and then all young guns at the end of the break will be top loaded and sleeved before they get shipped out. Uh, stuff like that. So just, you know, standard stuff. But here we go, pack one. Uh, let me get the focusing right here. As we have a sideways card as the first one, that always helps with the focusing. Not actually. Um, properties, hang on one second. There we go. I just like to turn the autofocus off here just because uh, that way the camera is not uh, flashing in and out. So here we go. So we'll start off with base and McDavid UD30 for the Edmonton Oilers. Edmonton on the board first with a UD30 of McDavid. Edmonton's one of those teams that like has a lot of sleeper potential too. Well, not sleeper potential. I mean, you know you can get uh, McDavid stuff in SP Authentic and uh, Les Bronze Young Guns for the Dallas Stars. Like McDavid, Gretzky, um, Drysidel. Obviously, we pulled Drysidel last on uh, Thursday, so they're one of those teams that you know they can hit pretty heavy, and they have a couple young guns, so they're not actually horrible. Uh, canvas of Schmaltz for the Arizona Coyotes. They're, they're very, like, you know, you obviously hope to see McDavid, um, McDavid Gretzky, but, um, you know, they do have some safety nets there, which is nice. Uh, Pure Energy of Silverberg for the Anaheim Ducks. And base on the rest. Yeah, let me know what you think we're going to get in uh, in the break today. I, I think we're going to get a good rookie future watch auto from our... SP Authentic, like a, a bigger name. So, oh, uh, rookie portraits of Makar for the Avalanche. Avs get a Makar card early, which is nice. Obviously, you're hoping to hit his young gun, but that's in uh, Series 2, so could hit his canvas. I don't think we've hit his young gun canvas yet. Uh, Gavrikov for the Blue Jackets. Columbus, another one of those teams that, you know, on the surface... Um, their overall value in the hobby isn't as high as like say if it was a player on the um on like the Canucks or the Leafs or Bruins, but um uh, Verana Generation X for the Capitals. But actually Elvis Merzlikin stuff is doing really well and I expect they'll probably gain a little bit because they do have a good cast of rookies there. So uh Texier, Benstrom are two other ones that you're looking for for sure. Uh Brady Keeper, young gun for the Florida Panthers. So they're another team that's like, you know, you're actually really happy to get. In previous years, Columbus was kind of one of those teams that you're just like, eh. This year, no, you're actually pretty happy to get them in breaks, which is cool. Uh, canvas of Shea Weber for the Montreal Canadiens. Canvas of Weber for the Habs. Base stack is falling down already. There we go. These packs open up so much easier than SP Authentic. Uh, Ryan O'Reilly for the St. Louis Blues on the Pure Energy. You know, uh, in the St. Louis region, they did a recap of game set or the final game with the uh, Blues players commentating over it uh, yesterday, which is pretty cool. If you're a Blues fan, uh, Domi for the Habs, and even if you're not, you know, seeing the players' perspective on the you know the cup winning game is uh is always pretty cool. So. Next pack, we've got uh, Brandon Gignac, Young Gun for the New Jersey Devils. Devils are on the board. Oh, we got a clear cut coming, looks like. And, oh, nice one for the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, Dante, Cody Glass, clear cut Young Gun. Great start here. That's a, that's a sleever. We'll get that one sleeved up for the recap at the end. Really good start there. Nice Cody Glass, clear cut, young guns. Look at that. Now I can kind of stay back here for a little bit. Oop, as he slides down the boxes. Uh, he probably won't stay up for very long. So nice one there. Nice young guns of Cody, young gun clear cut of Cody Glass. 
Definitely one of the stronger ones you can get from Series 1, so. Good to see that. Uh, Pedersen Generation next for the Canucks. Now there's a lot of talk, talk in Canuckland who their MVP was between Pedersen and Markstrom. And honestly, it probably was Pedersen. Um, Markstrom was insane for the most part this year, but like Pedersen was a big reason why the team was just so consistently solid. And we hit him finally. Uh, young Gun Canvas of Kale McCarr for the Colorado Avalanche. <laughs> That was one that I would have loved to see, and hey, he showed up. So who had the abs? Uh, Colorado, Paul. Nice hit there. What a box. Holy cow. Starting off really strong. Um, again, it's always a good sign when you hit a young gun canvas in a box this year. Uh, it generally feels like they're really strong in the boxes with them. And, I mean, when your young gun canvas is Kale McCart and it comes with a... Uh, young Gun clear cut of Cody Glass. Your box is ridiculously good. And sure, why not? Let's get a Quinn Hughes Young Gun in here too. Add the exclamation mark on the box. Savior, that one is yours. We'll get him sleeved up as well. That's a... Uh, this is a heck of a box. <laughs> hey, Beef Jerky. How's it going? What a start. There, we'll... we'll stack them down now that's uh that's three cards that deserve to be shown well two for sure the quinn hughes is kind of more standard but we'll lay them down now for the recap what a start though holy cow you really can't get any better than that uh austin matthews for the toronto maple leafs on the portraits i mean i guess with like a high gloss or an exclusives but like really like no that that's an, this is an insane box uh absolutely crazy start Mark Stone, Pure Energy for the Vegas Golden Knights. I mean, the two biggest, two of the biggest rookies have already hit. Uh, Cody Glass on the uh, clear cut is a very good one to get. So, um, awesome, awesome start here. John Tavares, Shooting Star for the Toronto Maple Leafs. So, right out of the gate, we got three cards already destined for the recap. That is... That is fun. <laughs> Hopefully it's a sign of things to come for the rest of the break here. Uh, Gretzky UD30 for the Rangers. Gretzky UD30 for the Rangers. And next up we have a canvas of Kyle Connor for the Jets. Kyle Connor canvas for the Jets. What an insane start though. Oh. Uh -huh. And Hainala for the Jets on the Young Guns. Not a bad one there. Honestly, pretty solid defenseman. So uh, he'll probably the team will probably look for him to make a big stride with uh, Buffalo not there anymore. So uh, you know his play seemed promising. Uh, McDavid portraits for the Oilers. But wow, uh, yeah, what a first box here. Um, yeah, you can't. Yeah, there's really not a lot of words for the box. Uh, Austin Matthews, Pure Energy for the Toronto Maple Leafs. I mean, you hit literally the best young gun canvas you can in this checklist. You hit one of the top clear-cut young guns, and you hit one of the top young guns on the checklist, if not the top one, actually. Um, I'm just moving the base out of the way here. One second. There we go. And... All right. So, box one was, uh, I would say, very good. Uh, so, the next break is the 18th. Yeah. Uh, so, next Thursday. And then there will be one Saturday. Um, I'm just working on getting all that set up. It'll be a bit of a special one because it's the 25th break here. So, want to put together something special for everyone. Um, you know, just as a way of both saying thanks and hopefully getting some sick stuff. So... That one should be up relatively soon, but uh, let's see if Series 2 can equal the task, I would guess. Um, I mean, you're really not beating that box of, uh, that box of Series 1 too often, so it's going to take something ridiculous to beat that box. Like, it's going to take 
honestly, even like a Makar clear cut would be like it needs support on it, which is pretty crazy to think about. Uh, Jack Hughes, marquee rookie blue for the New Jersey Devils. That's a good one to get early on. Nice one there for the Devils. I mean, best one that you can probably get on the checklist. So, uh, Verhage, marquee rookie for the Lightning. But yeah, I mean, I I don't know what we're going to expect out of this, but <laughs> hopefully something equal to that last box. Uh, Mantha for the Red Wings. Uh, let's see. Let's just get a good, like, a top... Top three young gun, so a Makar or a Makar or Kako would honestly be ideal here. Uh, Gautier for the Hurricanes, that's a good sign on the young guns. Gautier for the Hurricanes on the young guns. I believe that's Makar, if I remember my crops correctly. Uh, Tobias Bjornfoot for the Kings on the rookie portraits. Although sometimes Series 2 crops are very jumbled up, so... Uh, we'll see because we had that one full case that was uh they're all really mixed up so Woo! we have an opg black rookie number to 100 numbered 42 of 100 of connor bunneman for the philadelphia flyers we'll get that one sleeved up just because the uh that'll be in the recap and i know the black corners uh edges on the cards can get dig dinged up pretty quickly here so uh just because i mean it's paper and it's gonna show anything but this one looks really clean actually so nice one there for the flyers flyers already have a good hit that's good to see next up uh liam bergman retro for the sharks so that's actually a case hit too on the uh marquee rookie the black parallel to 100 so pretty good start uh parison for the oilers Young Guns. Is Gautier, Gautier might be, uh, he's, I think he's one of the two big ones normally though. Uh, Petrangelo Camus for the St. Louis Blues. Speaking of the Stanley Cup champs. Forgot that he uh, scored the uh, Stanley Cup winning goal. Uh, Panarin update for the Rangers. Just gonna slide the base over this way. This can go here, perfect. All right. And a reminder, if you do want your base from the breaks, uh, when you purchase your spots, if you can send us an email uh, or leave it in the notes, um, Joaquin Nygaard, Rookie Portraits for the Oilers. It really helps us keep things organized um, and makes the sorting process about a hundred times a year, so. Uh, what we got coming up here? We have a, ooh, we got a young gun checklist here of Kirby Dak and Capo Caco. So between Chicago and New York, that is going to be a random between Brian who has Chicago and Matt who has the Rangers. If we hit two, both of you will get one. If we hit three, both of you will get one and then we random one off. But uh, for now, uh, that one will be randomed off. So. That's just, I feel like, the fairest way to do the checklist. Um, because overall, like, uh, you know, if you get two, it just makes sense to give both teams one. Uh, Suzuki for the Habs. And then, yeah, obviously, if you get, if you, we somehow get three, uh, I mean, that'd be pretty, pretty crazy. Mers Lickens for the Columbus Blue Jackets, but I wouldn't, you know, rule it out because the last break actually has. When I was doing the sorting, the Winnipeg Jets hit uh, three of the same young guns from Series 2, and there were only four boxes of Series 2 in it, which is pretty crazy. Uh, Voracek for the Flyers on the canvas. Yeah, they hit three David Gustafson young guns. Pretty crazy. I didn't even catch it like during the break. I knew we hit a couple, but three is, uh, three is pretty weird. Uh, Carson Coleman for the Bruins on the portraits. All right. I wonder if the checklist will mess up the uh, big young gun. We'll see. We will see. Technically, we got one of the big players. Uh, Morgan Frost for the Flyers. Not a bad one there. Technically, we got a Kako young gun. 
but we want to actually see the regular Kako. Ooh, we got another clear cut coming. Maybe it'll be a young gun. Nope, it is Colin Wilson for the Colorado Avalanche on the clear cut. Just the base clear cut. We'll stick that aside for a recap, but still clear cut. I mean, they're tough to get, so obviously you hope to get the bigger names with them, but some of the like uh, lesser names aren't always bad to get. Uh, Nick Hag, marquee rookie for the Vegas Gold Knights on the retro side of things there, because the players, you know, that don't have a ton of cards that don't have autographs and stuff, if someone wants to collect that player, you know, the top cards to get are going to be like their base exclusives and stuff like that. So, uh, Capo Kakinen on the Young Guns for the Minnesota Wild. Vince, that's your uh, combo spot in there. Got another canvas coming up here. Oh, ooh, another nice Gordy Howe canvas for the Detroit Red Wings. Who had the Red Wings? Vince, nice little Gordy Howe retro. Uh, that's a really good one to get. Second time we pulled the Gordy Howe. I think second, maybe third, but definitely second. So, two boxes and two pretty cool canvas cards. One being the uh, the Young Guns canvas, and one being the. Uh, the Gordy Howe. So, there, that goes there. Perfect. All right, three packs to go here. So, this box, I mean, barring, you know, uh, good exclusives, Young Gun, of like one of the top rookies, uh, gonna be tough pressed to beat the uh, box of Series 1 here. Favory for the Capitals on the Marquee Rook. But overall, uh, still a decent box. Obviously, you wanna see one more big Young Gun, would be ideal here. Uh, Ram Pitlick, Rookie Portraits for the Predators. So one more big young gun would be really, really nice, but I think we got, I think we got all of the ones that, uh, ooh, we do have one more coming. Let's see what it is, and it is Eric Branstrom for the Ottawa Senators, so not a bad one there. Uh, the, uh, checklist kind of messed things up there. Yep. Got our, uh, all our young guns in that box, so not a bad box overall. Um, obviously, you know, the checklist young gun isn't ideal. Um, but could be worse. All right. I think we are going to do, let's do, let's do SP authentic just cause I don't like the packs opening them up are a little bit more of a struggle. So it'll space things out a little bit. We'll have a little bit more fun this way. Besides that first box of a uh, series one was pretty nuts. So yeah, that, uh, that Gordy Howe picture is just a classic. I, I love how they do the retro photos on canvas. It's just such a good looking set. Oop. Open the mic again. So again, with uh, I'll try to save the autos for the end of the box here. But um, if not, if uh, if they pop up along the way, they pop up along the way. Definitely patches will get saved towards the end, just because you know patches are pretty pretty crazy. So. But yeah. So here we go. SP authentic time. Uh, let's see if we can top. Our best hit the last break was definitely that Bobby Horse, Bobby Orr, sorry, uh, Bobby Orr sign of the times. He, uh, the sign of the times from 2017, 18 on the updates are always uh, kind of cool. So, uh, next up, uh, Darcy Kemper update for the Arizona Coyotes. Yeah, I tripping over your own words when you're talking through packs is very frustrating at times. Um. Next pack. Let's see what we got here. Uh, we have a SP Essentials of Yasperi Kotkaniemi for the Montreal Canadiens. But yeah, uh, that Bobby Orr is really, really, really nice. Uh, on card vet autos of like Hall of Famers are great. Next pack, we have a red of Tom Wilson for the Capitals. Oh man. Uh, next, authentic moment of Sidney Crosby for the Pittsburgh Penguins. On a good spree here, saving the autos for the end. Next pack. Let's see here. We've got, it looks like we might have a young gun coming up here. 
And it is Adam Johnson for the Pittsburgh Penguins. First time I've seen him. Put him in the uh, regular Young Gun stack. Let's see. Uh, we got, I think, just the base red coming up here. But, yep. Uh, Connor Hellebuck for the Winnipeg Jets. I think he should get the Vesna this year. Definitely one of the best best goalies out there. Uh, definitely carried Winnipeg. Next pack. Uh, looks like we've got a base update of Johnny Gaudreau for the Calgary Flames. I actually didn't mind the All-Star jerseys this year, or, or last year. I think if they did like a little bit of splash of like the team color in there, so like the primary color, that would have been really, really nice. Uh, high scan, SP Essentials for the Dallas Stars. I like the upper deck took the numbering off SP Essentials, especially because they were like, uh, they were out of like twelve ninety nine, and it's just like at that point they kind of don't, like they don't really have that exclusivity that, you know, numbered cards normally do. Uh, to Foley for the Canucks. Like they're still a rare enough hit, and this way I think it adds actually more, more of a scarcity feeling to them. Um, then at least to like the buying and selling point of it than if they were actually numbered, even if they produced more than them. Uh, Kucherov for the Tampa Bay Lightning on the authentic moments because you don't know how many there are, right? And that's kind of, uh, uh, we might have our first auto here. I think we have a first auto here. We'll save that. Authentic moments of Jack Hughes for the Devils. And I like the authentic moments set just because you know it's it's cool to see like all the stuff that kind of happened in card form. I know they have like their like instant platform and stuff like that, and Tops has Tops now, but I like the um, I like the recap in SP Authentic. I think it fits pretty well. Ooh, we have another auto here. Well, Vegas is having a pretty good break here, getting a nice little sign of the times of Jonathan Marcheseau. Nice one there for Vegas. He is probably, you know, a standard uh, group F, I would have to gather. But I can check that shortly here. Uh, no, he's actually group D, so actually tougher one to pull. So a good one there for Vegas. Get him all sleeved up for the recap. Uh, we'll stick him there. There we go. And I just got to reorganize those. There we go. And then just base to finish off. All right, so we definitely have our two autos. Uh, let's see if we can get a bonus. Obviously getting a third auto is always great. Sometimes there's some boxes that have like five, which is pretty nuts, but we will see. Uh, Spectrum FX of Blake Wheeler for the Jets. Wheeler for the Jets. And uh, SP Essentials of Kachuk for the Flames. Man, it's definitely a pretty cohesive set this year, which I like. Um, like the design on everything looks like it goes well together. Even with the retros from 2009, they look decent in this set. So I uh, like that. Ooh, oh, bonus Young Gun here. Speaking of uh, Carolina at the start of the break, David Ayer's Young Gun. Nice one for Ethan. We'll put that one in a sleeve. Not every day you get a backup goalie young gun or emergency backup goalie young gun. So uh, definitely a pretty good one to get. He's actually one of the higher selling ones this year. There's a point where he was actually like pre-selling before SP Authentic came out for like 100 bucks, and, which is pretty crazy to think about. But um, obviously there's just a lot of hype around it because, you know, how often do you get to see that? So... Uh, we have a regular future watch here of Connor Timmons for the Colorado Avalanche. Not a bad one there either. Uh, we'll stick him in the yeah. I'll stick him in the uh, Young Guns pile here. Not a bad one to get there. Pretty good defenseman. So uh, from the uh, like unnumbered ones, he uh, or for the unsigned ones, he's one of the best ones to get outside of obviously like Kako. Uh, there should be a Spectrum Young Gun then. 
or future watch. Uh, Adam Boquist, tier two. Not a bad one for Chicago. So we'll get that one uh, sleeved up. And then onto the future watch here. So already pretty good box. And who's it going to be? For the Detroit Red Wings, Caden Fulcher. Nice one there for the Red Wings. Who had the Red Wings? That was Vince Wong. So you got yourself a Gordy Howe uh, canvas. And now you got yourself a Caden Fulcher uh, future watch. Get them sleeved up again. All the autos will get sleeved up as we go along. All the top hits, stuff like that. There we go. Just so when we do the uh, recap, it'll be nice and easy. So, not a bad box of SP Authentic. Uh, I mean, a decent auto, decent sign of the times. Uh, the rookie auto is kind of weaker, but it's a goalie. Um, if he does ever turn into anything, then, you know, goalies can spike up really quickly out of nowhere. So, um, but overall, I'd say that's about the airs was probably honestly the best hit of that box, which is nice because it's a bonus. There are two young ends in that box too. So, and a level two future watch on the spectrum, which is obviously good to get there. Next up. Here we go. Um, I don't think we're gonna top our first box of series one. So just hope we get something close to it. Like a Jack Hughes young gun would be nice, but don't think we're actually topping that. Uh, Patrick Waugh UD30 for the Avalanche. Patrick Waugh UD30 for the Avalanche. Uh, another young gun coming up here and Connor Butterman for the Flyers uh, <laughs> He uh, so Dante, uh, I mean, you know, you got we'll we'll show you you, you know You got a hit out of SP authentic. You got a uh, Jonathan Marshall so sign of the times but I think you know Yeah, a Cody glass clear-cut young gun will uh We'll do the trick. <laughs> so, you've had a pretty good start. If I do say so myself. <laughs> Congrats on those two. Uh, you've, you've already crushed the break, and it's three boxes in. So, you crushed the break of the first box in. Uh, Huberto for the Panthers. <laughs> it's funny, because, like, sometimes people show up late, and they're just like, did I get anything? And then it's like, as... The pack was open. They got something. Um, we have a pure energy of Huberto for the Panthers. Or like they'll have, they'll be like, oh, like I want to see like this card or something like that in chat. And like, sure enough, that card will pop up. We have a portrait of Svetch for the Hurricanes. But no, great start for you. Um, yeah, that first box of series one, just so like, you get the full recap. The first box of series one had the Cody Glass Acetate, uh, the Clear Cut Young Gun, uh, Kale McCarr Young Gun Canvas, and a Quinn Hughes Young Gun in it. It's pretty insane. Uh, Josh Brown Young Guns for the Panthers. Like, probably one of the craziest boxes of series one that we've opened. Uh, outside of obviously the Victor Olofsson High Gloss, but uh, hopefully, we see another Young Gun Canvas in this box. McDavid UD30 for the Oilers. That is, I want to say that's 11 12. I'm not 100% certain on that base here, though. Uh, Philip Myers for the Flyers. Flyers getting some hits in with some young guns. Got three, plus the uh, Obichi Black of uh, Bunneman. Having a nice little break so far. Uh, Heiskanen Canvas for the Stars. Let's see. But yeah, just a big name young gun in this box would be pretty nice. Um, keep our expectations lower. Because not that first box is pretty pretty insane. Uh, Zabanjad for the Rangers on the Pure Energy. Next up. Yeah, looks like we got portraits coming up. And it is Ryan Palin for the Montreal Canadiens.
And Connor Clifton on the Young Guns for the Bruins. Clifton for the Bruins. So, so far, quieter box, I would say. But uh, got a clear cut coming again, I think. Uh, Jason Zucker for the Minnesota Wild. So that's uh, three boxes of Series 1 and Series 2 and three clear cuts. Uh, nice one there for the Wild. Obviously no longer with the team, but hey, when you're getting a clear cut base, uh, you know, it's better than nothing. Calgary, the Calgary, Minnesota combo spots kind of doing decent. It's doing things. Uh, Keller for the Yotes, Generation Next. There we go. Some of these packs can uh, be tough to open at times. Uh, Miko Rantanen for the abs on the canvas. But nothing is worse than SP Authentic. Those packs are a little bit tough to open. A little bit frustrating to open, to say the least. So, uh, Young Guns of Fabro for the Predators. Nice Fabro there for the Preds. I think he'll be a guy that kind of creeps up in value over time. Because they're probably going to need him to keep that decor cheaper. Uh, Portraits of Dubois for the Jackets. The blue jackets there on the portraits. Pure energy coming up here, and it is Drew Doughty for the Kings. Doughty Pure Energy for the Kings. And next year, really want to see them do like a team color almost background to that set. I think it'd make it pop just that much more. Uh, nice shooting stars of Crosby for the Penguins. You're going to get a base insert. Getting it of one of the game's best players of all time is pretty, pretty good way to do it. And we have a generation next of Nico Hichier for the Dallas, or Dallas, sorry, New Jersey Devils. Why did I even say Dallas? I think because I was thinking of Devils, and uh, I don't know, man. Uh, McDonough canvas for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Next up, another young gun coming up here, and it is Daniel Yurtakin for the San Jose Sharks. The Sharks. Come on. There we go. And uh, Kucherov for the Lightning on the Portraits. Last pack here, so a bit of a quieter box. Uh, a couple decent young guns, but nothing, you know, major. Um, the Zucker was a nice hit, obviously. Uh, like, odds-wise, they're tough hits, but overall, just kind of, eh, I would say. Uh, Marcia So for the Vegas Gold Knights. On the pure energy. Let's get the base out of the way here. On to the next box here. Oh, let's see if Series 2 can uh, can bring it up. Their first box wasn't the strongest. Uh, I mean, he had the Gord Gordy Howe Retro and a clear cut, but, you know. And I guess the Jackie's blue on the rookie, but you'd like to see a little bit stronger from it. I'd like to see something a little bit stronger. Let's see it again. Let's see a big name young gun. All you really want to see. I'm just gonna have a quick sip of water here. There we go. All right. First pack that should be our blue. No, it's not. Uh, Scott Sabrin for the Senators. Maybe I flipped the packs. That top right pack is, or the bottom right pack in the box is normally the uh, the blue rookie. So, uh, canvas of Svetch for the Hurricanes. That's a player that I've heard nothing but great things of, um, like off the ice. 
he seems like just an overall like super nice person uh one of the like really good players super nice person uh Bruce Ball Young Gun for the Canucks Canucks doing well you got I mean Canucks you know you have a lot of your worries taken out with a Hughes Young Gun already so next pack uh Bergman for the Sharks on the rookie portraits but yeah um apparently just like straight up like one of the nicest people you will ever meet uh we got a regular exclusives coming up here and it is uh roman yossi for the predators numbered 16 of 100 numbered 16 of 100 for the predators so another base parallel insert or hit so that's uh that's pretty good every single box of series one and series two has had one so far between clear cuts and exclusives that's what you love to see uh, Duchesne Retro for the Predators. Predators getting some cards in the board here. Looks like we've got another Young Gun coming up here. And it is Joey Dackard for the Senators. Senators have a couple Young Guns already. Probably a stack of rookies and stuff, but... Oh... Uh, Fowler canvas for the Ducks. Uh, Kadri for the Avalanche on the updates. Next up, we have a uh, Adam or. Yeah, Adam Fox rookie portraits for the uh, Rangers. I saw a Duchesne base and it looked a little bit weird. Um, but his variation is the white uniform, not the yellow one. So, uh, Ryan Lindgren for the Rangers. He's normally with one of the bigger young guns, so that's generally a good sign. But I think our crops are a little bit mixed up here, so... It's tough to tell at this point. Uh, there we go. There's an extra base hiding in there. Uh, Yaka Bluiga on the marquee rookie for the Blue Jackets. Ooh, checklist on the back. Uh, Braden Point canvas for the Tampa Bay Lightning. And I like the I like the photos that kind of go outside what you know the. The traditional hockey photo so I like how they use the canvas set for that um, same with the day with the cup set uh, rookie portraits of Davidson for the Senators again keeping things fresh and interesting is always good so uh, nice Nick Suzuki young gun for the Montreal Canadiens Caleb that one is yours we'll get him a uh, Sleeved up. He's one of the top ones to get. So came over from the Vegas Golden Knights in that uh, big Max Pacioretty trade. Nice one there. So that's actually kind of a good box here. Ooh, we got a we got something different in this one. I don't know what it, oh, a fluorescence of Kirby Doc. Nice. For the Chicago Blackhawks, number 12 of 150. Nice rare hit there. Those are about one per case for Brian. With that sleeved up here as well. So that's a good sign. Uh, you know, a good young gun, good insert hit of a good rookie. That's what you hope to see. I love the look of the fluorescence cards too. I wish, you know, I predicted like a more like a set like this more often um like that and like even you know i bring up the tim's cards from earlier in the year like just the red the red uh the red inserts adam boquist for the uh chicago blackhawks are some of the like nicest cards out there um like if they were to do a set like that where the they're like different colors for the parallels and stuff like that i think that would look really really cool uh, Devils and back-to-back -back blue rookies this time with Gusev. The Gusev is Lusev for the Devils on the blue OPG rookie. 
But yeah, uh, I think I think they could leverage that a little bit more and like do the unique foil stuff. Um, I think that'd be a really really cool set. Sam Lafferty for the Penguins on the Young Guns because they do have the ability to do some really really cool foil cards. So I just like to see them leverage that a little bit more. Uh, Tobias Bjornfot, Marquee Rookie Retro for the Kings. Another young gun coming up here, and it is Nicholas Hag for the Vegas Golden Knights. Another thing that I would actually think would be interesting to see, I know they kind of do this through the acetate young guns that you can find in SP Authentic, but would be photo variation young guns. Like, it doesn't even have to be, like, the biggest, or, or like, too many of them. Just, like, the big rookies having photo variations could be pretty cool. Uh, nice program of excellence for the Colorado Avalanche of Connor Timmins. And it's normally a good sign when you get a program of excellence or something like that. And given that we got a fluorescence in this, um, like a program of excellence or a canvas is normally a good sign. And so um, we got a uh, got a fluorescence, so that's a pretty rare hit alongside the nice program of excellence for the Avs. Got a couple nice Timmins cards already between his uh, base future watch and... Uh, in the program of excellence. Good defender too, so again, not a bad player to get cards of. He'll be overshadowed on that Colorado blue line, but he is a good player. Uh, Nick Camano for the Dallas Stars. Because you'll have, I mean, you'll have Makar and Byram on that blue line for a while, so uh, it's already pretty stacked. And finishing off with a Nick Suzuki, rookie portraits for the Habs. So pretty solid box there. Um, yeah, got a good fluorescence, good young guns, program of excellence of a good player. That set checklist has kind of been a little bit weaker in, in recent years just because there haven't been as many, you know, uh, top Canadians for the rookies. But it is still, you know, I mean, Makar's the best one that you can get this year, obviously, but your, your big three, I mean, even your big, you know, five six rookies like you've got Makar and Doc as the only two Canadians and um when you have a set that needs good Canadian talent it kind of gets a little bit watered down at times but it's still rare hits and they're still cool so uh it should change next year by the way should get laugh in there maybe uh Byfield maybe uh Byram as well so next year's program of excellence uh canvas set can be pretty nuts go all right this is the halfway point of the break here so far so good uh best pull definitely so far the cody glass uh acetate young gun although we've had some good other hits here uh it's definitely definitely that one so here we go and try to save the autos for the end if possible um if they pop up along the way they pop up along the way And this looks like a, ooh, this is a update. Nice, actually, for Anaheim. Uh, Sam Steele, Future Watch Autograph to $9.99. That's actually a pretty good one to get. So uh, nice one, Peter. I really like Sam Steele's game. Um, I was actually upset that he wasn't in the Future Watch checklist last year, even as a redemption, because I think he's a pretty good player. So he's kind of one of those players that I keep tabs on because I think he'll be, he'll go up over time. So good one, good little get there. So already one auto out of the way for the box. Uh, Spectrum FX of Tavares for the Maple Leafs. That's why Anaheim actually is in the combo spot because between Max Jones and actually the Sam Steele uh, update, uh, I think this is an FX future watch here. Yep. Uh, Spectrum FX of Carson Coleman for the Bruins. Stick them in that pile. But yeah, uh, really like it. It's a really nice, really nice player. All right, here we go. Next. Oh, our, oh, well, that's a good one to get. Wasn't expecting that, but sign of the times rookies for the New Jersey Devils, number two, 99 
of Jack Hughes. Big hit there, Bill. Congrats on that one. Uh, yeah, those are super tough to get. So, wow. Uh, what a box. That is honestly probably up there for top hit so far. Oh, I slid that the wrong way. Hang on, let me get this the right way. There we go. Super nice card. There you go. Uh, is the sign of time rookies paralleled or nope they're all just out of 99 so nice one there uh again super nice hit was not expecting that <laughs> so both our autos are out early but uh who knows we still got lots of a box left so could find uh, another auto in here if not they're two pretty decent autos so you you take that in a box that's be authentic that's for sure nice hit there uh, ooh, we got an upside down Young Guns of Adam Brooks for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Not a bad one to get as well. Good player. So good player on a good team. Definitely does have some some upside. And I mean, being in Toronto, if he does like break out all of a sudden, uh, you know, watch out because Toronto stuff can go up pretty crazily. Next pack, we've got uh, Red of Clef Bomb Limited. So yeah, uh, I mean, if there's no autos in the rest of the box, it's not going to be the most entertaining box, but it's still going to be a heck of a box overall. Like, that's pretty crazy. Uh, Barkov for the Panthers on the SP Essentials. Try to speed things up a little bit. Unless we get, if we get a patch in this box too, that'd be pretty, pretty nuts. Uh, we have Pashnak base update for the Bruins. Ashnack base update for the Bruins. Next pack. Got SP Essentials of Eichel for the Sabres. <laughs> Just a regular Jack Hughes Young Gun. I mean, well, I think you'll take that over it. <laughs> hey, who knows? You can still get the uh, Jack Hughes Young Gun. But congrats on the poll there. Uh, Brad Marchand limited for the Bruins. That pack is, uh, there we go. He's a little bit thicker than normal here. Yeah, two autos out of the way early on in this box is uh, kind of funny. Uh, Blue Jackets for the Blue Jackets, authentic moments. Goes to the entire team. And next up, authentic moments of Cody Glass for the Vegas Golden Knights. Their first draft pick to debut for the team. Got a base update coming up here. Uh, Blake Coleman. Yeah, so he uh, his price will be kind of all over the place. Uh, his future watch is in about the two. I think it's in the two eighty five range now. Um, somewhere's around there, but it'll be very similar to that, just because it is a pretty short print card. Um, Blake Wheeler for the Winnipeg Jets. Honestly, it probably like it probably won't fetch as much as like his base future watch auto, which is kind of. It's weird to say that because there's, you know, 999 of the Future Watch autographs, but there's only like 99 sign of the times rookies. It's just it being the true rookie is kind of the big difference there. But yeah, still a super nice card. Um, you're still looking at a very, very, very solid sale on that. So uh, SP Essentials of Crosby for the Penguins. Again, that's if you want to sell it. Like it's a very nice looking card to look at too. So and these packs are frustrating to open it's honestly like the longest part of the breaks uh Gorogiev for the rangers on the base update the longest part of any series or like sp authentic break is just the packs 
Oh, I can do that. I'll just mark you down here quickly. Hang on one second. But yeah, I, I got you marked down now, so. Uh, next up, we have an authentic winners of Evgeny Malkin. Malkin authentic winners. Man, when Malkin goes into Geno mode and just becomes an absolute like monster on the ice, no one's stopping him. And final pack here, we have a Crosby base update for the Penguins. So Penguins with a couple of inserts late. Uh, overall, really good box. Uh, good future watch autograph, even if it's an update. Uh, Sam Steele is honestly probably I would put him in like the top top 15 that you could get from the product this year. So definitely a pretty good one to get. And uh, I mean, the Jack Hughes, like don't really need to elaborate much more on that. So the Jack Hughes is, uh, is massive. All right, let's see if we can get, uh, I mean, hey, let's see if we can get a regular Jack Hughes Young Gun here. Might as well have something go with the sign of the times, right? All right, here we go. Ooh, right out of the gate, uh, red shooting stars with Boston Bruins of David Pasternak. So those are about one in every, I think six boxes or so, or no more, I think eight. I think one in eight on those. Uh, Gretzky UD30 for the Oilers. Next up, we have a canvas of Trocheck for the Panthers. I was gonna shorten the stack. Uh, Hit stack. I can do that after this box. Uh, nice, Dominic Kublik, young gun for the Chicago Blackhawks. I will uh, get him sleeved up just because he is being talked about in call in like kind of fourth place for Calder or third place. Seeing like the NHL writers pulled though for uh, for like Calder with. Makar first, Hughes second, and then I think Kublik was third and Merzlikens was fourth, and then it's like, the disrespect to Adam Fox. Like, Adam Fox had an incredible rookie year. Uh, Patterson Portraits for the Canucks. He is the real deal, and being slept on right now, both in, both in hockey cards and in the real world, so. Uh, dry Saddle Pure Energy for the Oilers. Kublix normally, uh, well, like not normally, but sometimes with Victor Olofsson. So it would be nice to see them pop up together to bring Cat Generation next for the Blackhawks. And Bjorn fought for the Kings on the Young Guns. So that's a good one to get. Definitely surprised everyone getting a shot at team this year. I know earned a lot of praise from his teammates early on. So uh, Ben Bishop on the canvas for the Dallas Stars. Next, Stamkos Pure Energy for the Lightning. Yeah, Jack Hughes is honestly probably a Bit of a better card than the Bobby Orr Sign of the Times update that we got last time. So, uh, Taylor Hall for the Devils on the portraits. In terms of, like, dollar value, I'd say. Um, the main reason behind that is because Bobby Orr's Sign of the Times is normally in every single year's SP Authentic, so they do lose a little bit of value that way. Uh, Nathan Basham for the Devils on the Young Guns. And, obviously, the Hughes being out of 99 is, you know... It being a rookie end of nine. We have a jersey card coming up here. Who is it going to be? It is going to be Duncan Keith for Chicago. Uh, what group is he? 
he is group E. So kind of just base, stick him to the side there. But solid name still. So not a bad one to get. Unless you're a Canucks fan, then you know, you kind of kind of get it. Uh, McAvoy for the Bruins on the generation next. A uh, canvas of the Nuge for the Edmonton Oilers, Ryan Nugent Hopkins. What we got next? A regular young gun of Taro Hirose for the Detroit Red Wings. Hirose young gun for the Red Wings. Red Wings have done decent. Young gun, retired canvas of Gordie Howe, autograph from SP Authentic. Uh, portraits of Rask for the Bruins. That's uh, generally a pretty solid break. Uh, Sebastian Ajo, pure energy for the Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, not quite sure yet. I'll check in on that, but uh, yeah, just keep it out. Oh, this is the... Uh, this is a troublesome card. This is a McDavid UD30. When I was uh, when we first did a case or like our half case of series one, I actually missed it because I just thought it was a base card. But it turns out that it's actually an insert. Really hard to pick out if you uh, if you don't know that it's actually an insert. So, but that's for the Oilers there. Connor Timmins. There you go for the Avalanche. Avs are having a good break. Yeah, Thursday sold out like instantly. <laughs> so, uh, definitely we'll try to get that up as soon as possible. Uh, Hellebuck for the Jets. Got three packs to go here. Uh, Malkin for the Penguins on the Pure Energy. But yeah, that, that break should be fun. So, uh, Sinitian rookie portraits for the Bruins. And last pack of the box overall, solid box. Um, nothing like super fancy, but just good, which is good. Uh, ooh, nice one, Adam Fox for the Rangers. So that's a player again who, in my opinion, probably deserves to be Higher, well, he does deserve to be higher value than what he is, but uh, he's not right now. Um, definitely a player to hold on to. Um, he is a very, very, very talented defenseman. I'm just going to get rid of a uh, stack of inserts here. Give some space. There we go. Uh, put it right there. Give us some space to work with here. There we go. But yeah, um, Adam Fox is a heck of a player. You know, even even in his draft year, he shouldn't have been a third round pick. Like he should have been an easy, like you know, top. I mean, top fifteen pick. Like that was a year that I actually um, I missed school with a concussion, and so as a result, like I just ended up having a. I was in university, and a, I ended up watching a lot of like draft stuff that year, and. Um, you know, fell in love with both Adam Fox and Clayton Keller's games. Um, Calgary's draft that year was pretty nuts. Because they originally drafted Adam Fox. So. Uh, Dobson, marquee rookie for the Islanders. But yeah, he is a, he's a player to watch out for, especially in a big market. Um, especially as that team rebounds. Definitely watch out. Uh, Snetsov for the Capitals. Also, that was the first box of Series 1 or Series 2 that didn't have a base parallel. Like a clear cutter exclusive. So, uh, Verhege portraits for the Lightning. Rookie portraits of Verhege for the Lightning. Uh, young Guns of Gregor for the Sharks. 
Noah Gregor for the Sharks. Uh, next. Oh, we got another Young Gun clear cut. Two in one break. Pretty good for the LA Kings of Carl Grundstrom. Probably like a good good B plus or B minus kind of guy. Um, you know, he probably won't. He's not going to sell, you know, as well as like your, like a Kubalik would, but he's still a good player. He'll be an everyday NHLer for a while. So good get there for the, for the Kings. Um, yeah, just a good, good player, you know, kind of, kind of that third liner grindy with a little bit of upside type player. So, uh, Timishaw for the Maple Leafs. He's a, a little bit annoying to play against and definitely a, definitely will probably stick around for a while in the league. So, uh, Curry Dak, Marquee Rookie Retro for the Blackhawks. But yeah, and like watching uh, Adam Fox and Clayton Keller on the U.S. National Development Program. We got something. I think, do we have another checklist? Yeah, we have another Young Gun checklist here. So that's two. So both... Um, both Chicago and the Rangers will get one. Uh, so that's Brian and Matt. So you'll both get one. If we get a third one, we will random off the third one. But uh, right now, no randoms to do. That gives us two. So I'll just keep them stacked there so I know. And next up we have uh, ooh, another retired canvas. Guy Carboneau for the Montreal Canadiens. Jeez, we've been doing really well on the canvas here. Two retired canvas is pretty uh pretty tough to do in um, the amount of boxes that we've opened, so it's pretty good. I'm just gonna reorganize stuff a little bit here. You can go there. There we go. That's better. I'm gonna have a pretty pretty good recap today, I would say. And honestly, like series one and series two did a lot of work. They've already done a lot of work, and there's still more to go. Uh, Bunneman, rookie for the Flyers. So not not a yeah. It's not every day that you get two retired canvases in four boxes. So uh, rookie portraits of Gusa for the Devils, and again two clear cut young guns. And uh, I mean we're in six boxes so far, which is pretty pretty nuts. Uh, nice for the New York Rangers, Capo Caco, Young Gun. So Rangers are on the board with a big hit. I'll love to see it. I mean, they got both Fox and Caco, so that's uh, you know, your two main Young Guns out of the way. Obviously, Shesterkin from SP Authentic would be massive, but good one there. Doing really well with the Young Guns, so. Haven't had many, uh, like even the clear cuts have been solid, which is nice. Uh, Connor Timmons, OBG Rookie Blue for the Avalanche. You're going to have, who had Colorado? Paul, you're going to have like every single uh, Timmons parallel by the time the break is done. Between Series 1 and Series 2 at this point. Minus like exclusives and high gloss for Young Guns. But uh, Clint Cossum for the Blues on the OBG Rook. Another canvas coming up here, and it is... Matt Barzell for the Islanders. So we've got three young guns total in this box. Yeah, three young guns total in this box and a clear cut. Should have three to go here still. Should have three to go here still. Uh, German Roops off for the Flyers. Flyers add to their stack of rookies. Uh, Libor Hajek, Rookie Portraits for the Rangers. Islanders have been kind of quiet this break. That's one of the things that I haven't... I don't think I've really called them out too many times. Uh, ooh, nice! Uh, Marky Rookie Red for the Toronto Maple Leafs of Rasmus Sandin. I will... Uh, I'm going to preemptively sleeve this one. It's a good rookie, and the Reds are again a case hit. So um, I think it's worth the sleeve. It's worth a spot in the showcase. We're uh, running low on top loaders, so that's for sure. Uh, I cracked open a fresh 25, uh, 25 thing of top loaders, and uh, only got what, like six, seven left? 
<laughs> We've been using a lot for all the hits so far, which is good. Uh, speaking of Islanders, Wallstrom, retro rookie for the Islanders. And I mean, I know we're going to need at least four more for SP Authentic. Well, hopefully only three because we get a patch or two. Uh, Boquist Young Gun for the Chicago Blackhawks. So really, really strong box here. Wow. Um, retro Canvas. Uh, case hit in the red rookie and a good player on that. Uh, decent clear cut young gun, Kako young gun, uh, Boquist young gun. I mean, just pretty in the same box. Uh, Zuccarello for the wild. Zuccarello for the wild. And three packs to go in this box here. Truba update for the Rangers. Yeah, this has been a pretty, pretty nuts box. Blake Lazat for the Kings on the rookie portraits and final pack here. I mean, what a great box. Still got another young gun coming, which is always good. Uh, Nikita Gusev for the Devils. So really strong box. Um, yeah, that was a ridiculously good box there. Now it's time for SP Authentic, and I don't know if SP Authentic can top that. I mean, it can, but. And it will, hopefully. Y'all fingers crossed, knock on wood. Let's see what box we got. Box number 13 is the uh, serial number on it from the officially licensed NHL stamp, which they uh, they changed it recently, by the way. It's a new, it's a new uh, officially licensed product stamp. They used to be uh, kind of set on the Stanley Cup there. There's a little stature plug all right let's see we've got a big rookie auto uh let's see a patch let's see a patch here can have a quick sip of water again here we go all right here we go so again, we'll try to save the autos for the end. If they creep on us like they did last time, uh, then so be it, but we'll try to save them for the end. Makes it a little bit more entertaining. So, uh, SP Essentials of McDavid for the Oilers. Start things off, not bad. Again, it's always nice when you're getting the, uh, the big guys. All right. Next up, we have a Spectrum FX of Ovechkin. Did we hit him before? We might have. Not quite sure, though. But yeah, this is a really cohesive design set this year. I mean, SP Authentic normally is, but this year's in particular works really well with all the sets together and subsets. So I like what they've done. Uh, doesn't say autograph, but it is a future watch. Uh, it could be the Spectrum. Do we, yeah, it is the Spectrum, so we'll just roll with it. Oh, uh, nice for the Montreal Canadiens, level 2 of Ryan Paling. Nice level 2 Spectrum FX of Paling. I had a couple level 2s. Those are about, I think they're 1 in 90 packs. So definitely tougher, tougher ones to get there, which is 90 packs is about, what, f 5 boxes? Or so, ooh, we got a autograph here for the Vegas Golden Knights. Have yourself a break, Dante Alex Tuck. Uh, sign of times autograph. He is a probably he's probably a group F. No, he's a group E. So yeah, tougher than a group F. Group Fs are the most common, and so like the players in that are like uh, Evgeny Dadonov's in it, um, Tyson Berry. Uh, Jakob Slavin, Kevin LeBanc are group Fs. Uh, so it's kind of a bit of a tough one to get. And nice big auto there too. I like the uh, I like when players take advantage of the full space that they have to work with. So it was like the Kock and Yami sign of the times draft that we got in the case. That was a really nice card. So nice one there for Vegas. Vegas is having a heck of a break. Two cards, two autographs of SP Authentic and a clear cut of... Uh, of Cody Glass on the Young Guns is pretty, 
pretty crazy. Uh, Chandler Stevenson for the Vegas Golden Knights on the update. So all the update base will ship out of SP Authentic, um, just because it technically counts as a hit. So just if you do get your package and you're wondering why, if you didn't request base, that there is base in it. Uh, I think we have an autograph coming up here. I'm going to bet on that being an autograph. I saw the few watch on the side. The autos seem to group together a little bit here, so... Uh, what do we got? We got an authentic moment of the Columbus Blue Jackets for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Uh, they're pretty much all but confirmed at this point. So, yeah. Which, I mean, makes sense. They have lots of hotels there. Um, it makes sense in that regard. The regard that doesn't make sense is just the whole... It's not super well going super well down there. Uh, Joaquin Blickfield for the San Jose Sharks on the Young Guns. At least Vegas is okay right now. Um, but we'll see how things shape out. So Vancouver is honestly probably one of the, like, the best overall cities to have it in just because of, you know, how everything's been up here. Uh, SP Essentials of Shabbat for the Senators. But I don't think Vancouver will get it just because I don't think the, you know, um, I don't think that restrictions will be allowed. So that's at least another future watch. That might that might be a base future watch. That might be an autograph. But there's at least two more future watches coming here. So yeah, Vegas is on a bit of a run this break, which is good to see. Uh, Tivu Teravainen for the Hurricanes on the red. The limited. Oh, maybe we'll just have a three on the box too. But maybe we just have a base piece to watch a non-numbered one. That would make some sense. So I'll start with the right pack that's on the table there first when we go through it. Uh, Chara authentic moments for the Bruins. I like that I'm getting some more decoys too. Really helps with sorting stuff out. Base update coming here of Linus Allmark for the Sabres. Yeah, Vegas is one of those cities that it's just like, you look at all the amenities they have to offer, it just, you know, it does, it does make some sense, so. Next up, uh, Steven Samkos for the Tampa Bay Lightning. I mean, you can literally block off an entire hotel there for a team, so. That's normally what they did with the NHL awards, is that literally, um, the encore at win was blocked off and for like anyone related to the awards uh joel edmondson update for the hurricanes kind of surreal experience being down there at the same time and you're like you see all the players and stuff like that and you know it was pretty fun uh authentic winners of jonathan taze Winning both on and off the ice. So it looks like we're probably just gonna have a standard uh, two auto box here, unless, you know, this pack has an autograph for the next one's an auto patch or the other future watch is auto, but I think we're just gonna have a standard one here. Uh, Sydney Crosby, all-star game uh, update for the Penguins. And last pack before we get to the two future watches. So I think the one on the left is definitely autographed. I'm not sure about the one on the right. All right. Here we go. Uh, Alex Tuck Limited for the Vegas Golden Knights. Decoys have some markings on them. Bit different, but I like that they're the, uh, the like regular cardboard stock on it. All right, here we go. Yeah, this is, oh, we got a limited, almost missed the limited of Braden Point for the Tampa Bay Lightning. And JC Baudet, future watch for the Senators to 9.99 not autoed on that one and let's go lean bergman for the san jose sharks to 9.99 number 9.29 of 9.99 not a bad one here we go get that in its uh 
top loader and sleeve, stick it in the SP Authentic recap pile. All right. So overall, honestly not the best box of uh, SP Authentic, but they all can't be Jack Hughes rookie sign of the times autographs. So here we go, final three boxes. So final box of series one. Um, let's see, we've hit a Quinn Hughes. Uh, we've hit a McCarr canvas young gun. Hit a Cody Glass clear cut. I mean, really the main thing that's left is uh, honestly a Jack Hughes base young gun. That's honestly the main thing that's left here. But let's, let's see, like, I don't know. It'd be nice to see something crazy. Obviously, you want to see a high gloss, but given what we've seen so far, I mean, if a high gloss pops out, that'd be absolutely nuts. Even if it's just a base high gloss. There we go. All right, here we go. And we are starting off with uh, Generation Next of Colin White for the Ottawa Senators. Colin White, Generation Next for the Senators. Got a young gun coming up here, and it is Carson Coleman for the Bruins. Seen him pop up a few times lately. Canvas of Nick Foligno for the Columbus Blue Jackets. But I think we're going to get in the final few boxes here. I mean, a lot of teams have had some good success this break. So, uh, Pashnak, Pure Energy for the Bruins. Ooh, maybe we'll see like the Jack Hughes uh, base variation. So he does have the draft FP. And it, I mean, it is a super tough hit, so we will see, though. Uh, Crosby Portraits for the Penguins. Again, if you're going to get an insert, get in one of the league's best players. Always good. And Rudolph Balsers on the Senators Young Guns. Senators, as always, get their fair share of Young Guns. I think they have seven between all the products. Uh, ooh, we got something... Oh, no, that's just a uh, UD30. Never mind. Of Wayne Gretzky for the LA Kings. Oh, we got... Oh, that's a one-of-one. One. Oh, that's a really good one-of-one. One. Uh, who's got Toronto? Uh, Toronto is Kirsty. One-of-one one buyback for the Toronto Maple Leafs of Matt Sundin. Wow. That is a big hit. Wow, that's a really good name on the buyback. That is from uh, 96, 97 Upper Deck. Nice, Matt Sundin, one of one buyback for the Toronto Maple Leafs. That's pretty cool. Don't see that every day. I just, oop, knocked the camera out of the way out of excitement there. Um, I was trying to, like, I saw it just the back, just like, oh, that's a little bit different. And then it was like, oh, it's just the UD30, right? That makes sense. And then, nope. In behind the uh, UD30 was uh, that. And nice, Victor Olsen Young up for the Buffalo Sabres. We'll get that one uh, sleeved up here as well. Got to make sure I have at least two sleeves available for SP Authentic. So I might have to just slide over and grab some more sleeves quickly, but... Wow, uh, yeah, that's a that's a heck of a heck of a box already. <laughs> uh, Patrick Kane canvas for the Chicago Blackhawks. That is pretty nuts. Um, short of getting like a young gun or like a bigger name, like there's really not many better ones that you can get than that. So, pure energy of McDavid for the Oilers. Like obviously, if you get like. The Ovechkin Young Gun 1 of 1 has already actually been pulled, but that was in Series 2 for buybacks. But if you could get, like, a big Series 1 1, that'd be pretty crazy. Uh, Eric Saul from the Minnesota Wild. 
But yeah, that is uh, that's a pretty big hit. And it's not every day that you get a one of one out of uh, series one. So bun him in for the Flyers on the Young Guns. I think we've seen him before this break. That does happen though. We got a jersey card coming up here. Who's it gonna be? Who do you think the jersey card's gonna be? I'm gonna go with, uh, let's go with Radic Faxa. Nope, John Gibson for the Anaheim Ducks. Uh, he is a, if I know my alphabet better, Group E as well. I was just trying to pick a name on the checklist that was right beside me, so. But, hey, not a bad one for Anaheim. Anaheim had a pretty good break. We got a generate. Is this a generation next here? No, it's a UD30, right? Of uh, Patrick Waugh for the Montreal Canadiens. Oh my gosh, could you imagine if they included like just a UD30, like the same year as a UD30, if like a McDavid base and stamped it one of one for a buyback? How confusing that would be if you didn't pay attention to it. Uh, Morgan Riley for the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs on the canvas. That would be like, like oh, it's just another UD30. Wait a minute. That's a buyback, one of one. And be have a big player too, so. Uh, Hainala for the Jets. That was the Quinn Hughes box, right? That's Hainala. Uh, portraits of Kovalchuk for the Kings. Pure energy of line A for the Jets. But yeah, Series 1 uh, seriously brought the heat today. Uh, yeah, that is quite possibly for the strongest like consecutive boxes that we've opened up. Uh... On a buyback base, honestly, like it's tough. It it all depends on the buyer and how much people value it at. Like you could sometimes you can get like a lot for them. Uh, for the Toronto Maple Leaf shooting stars, red of Tavares. Honestly, like some of them can go for quite a bit. I wouldn't say fifty dollars is out of the question on it, which is again still pretty solid. If you're asking me, at least, uh, McDavid UD30. Honestly, like 50 bucks is probably fair for it if you have the right person. Um, but it all depends on what set it's from, how much someone really wants a card. Because at the end of the day, like those cards are going to come down to how badly someone that collects that player wants that card. Um, Darnell Nurse for the Oilers, just because they are oddball cards and they're really hard to actually gauge the price of. So, like, some of the no name. One of them buybacks go for like 10 bucks sometimes. Sometimes they go for more because that player doesn't have a ton out there. But uh, And Matt Sundin doesn't actually have a ton of stuff. Uh, Zach McEwen for the Canucks on the Young Guns. So like, it might not be horrible. But like, yeah, they can, they can fetch a high amount if it's the right, you know, if you get the right bidding war between two people um, or someone really, really wants a card. Branch and portraits for the Senators. But I think, you know, you're looking at, you know, probably pretty close to like 50 bucks on the average, like, star, I'd say. Uh, Atkinson, pure energy for the uh, Blue Jackets. That's the end of that box. So it's, it's really tough on the buyback one of ones just because they, again, it depends on how many they did of each player, which no one really knows. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to grab some more standard top loaders while I'm over here. There we go. Uh, slide this in there. Yeah, it really depends on how much uh, they go for. I can check after the break for you, but um, I, yeah. There's so many variables with it. It's really tough to, like, say an exact amount. I would say, like, honestly, anything... Like the fifty dollar range is generally pretty good. Um, yeah, I'll check after the break quickly uh, for you if you want. Actually, can probably just pull it up quickly right now. Uh, 
Yeah, so there's only actually one other one listed. And okay, so actually it might be it might actually be a lot more than that cuz there's only been two that have been listed. One's still up and it's got 125 or best offer. The other one sold. So um, honestly, you could be looking at, you know, a hundred bucks on it even. So um, again, they really, really range. It depends on how badly the person wants a card. But given it's Matt Sundin, he doesn't have a ton of stuff out there. Um, it's probably gonna be one of the best ones, like one of the better base ones that you can get, so. All right, there we go. There's all the packs. Uh, I'll just check one more site here. Uh, yeah, it kind of shocked me seeing... I mean, it doesn't shock me seeing that it's that high listed because he is a really well-liked player, so... Um, Timmons rookie for the Avalanche and again popular team rare enough card um, but yeah I'd say it's probably in that range so uh, Kirby Dak for the Chicago Blackhawks on the Rooks let's see a big let's see another big name young gun out of this uh, Crosby canvas for the Penguins my favorite part is that they could use the McDavid canvas as a Crosby canvas in the, in the set because it's, you know, McDavid looking over. Um, Engvall for the Leafs. This site's not loading it. Uh, Mikaia for the Leafs. Ah. Uh, Let's see. No, nope, none of them are actually uh, listed here. Uh, oh, another one of one. Uh, why not? Let's get both back to back here. This is actually a checklist one, but for the Ottawa Senators of Danny Heatley. This is from 0506. So, <laughs> two boxes, two one of ones. What are the odds? This one's probably honestly in the, I'd put in the 25 to $50 range. Given that it's 0506 and Heatley has a bit of a cult following, um, can get a little bit more of note. There is a little bit of a ding in the top corner. Uh, it did come like that and that happens on these stamp cards, but uh, yeah, Senators. <laughs> nice one there for the Sens. Uh, Matt Sundin buyback. 2019 20. There we go. But nice one there for the Senators. Uh, Alexi Sorelia for the Panthers on the Young Guns. I would I would honestly say though that that Sundin like north of fifty for sure. Um, how far north, I don't know, but definitely 100 would probably be kind of what I'd say is top end for it. Uh, Favory Retro for the Capitals. Uh, Giovanni Smith for the Red Wings on the Young Guns. What was the... Uh... Actually, copy and paste the title in there that sold because I can't find. I can find out the exact price sometimes of best offers, but uh, Subban for the Devils on the canvas. Okay, so the uh, the other Matt Sundin actually sold for a hundred US. So you're looking at about a hundred bucks on that card, um, which is a really really nice pull. So there you go. So if you want to know how much Matt Sundin uh, one of one goes for, that's about the price. Uh, Varlamov for the Islanders. But yeah, it's it's a super nice card. So um, the Heatley's going to be a lower value just because obviously not the same player as Sundin. Um, 
Timoshov for the Leafs. And it being a checklist, probably a little bit. Uh, no, the checklist might actually endear a couple more people outside of just Danny Heatley collectors. But, um, you know, it's not going to be like a Matt Sundin one. Uh, Rhett Gardner for the Stars. And you're probably looking in the $25 to $50 range on that one. Would be my guess. So probably closer to the 25 than the 50 but again you never know with one of ones like stuff like that because you know especially it being 0506 um nice young guns canvas of david gustafson for the winnipeg jets um with it being 0506 that's a very big like rookie year uh because obviously you have cross and ovechkin in that so you might get some uh bonus bidding as i'd like to call it on it just because of you know it being a big big year uh volkov update for or portrait sorry for the lightning so but yeah uh really 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 good pull there with that sunday and even the heatley's decent like again it's a one of one uh barrett hayden for the yotes nice young gun there again his he's a player that's probably going to go up a little bit um Chuck, you can get the uh we got a jersey card coming up here it's like a rookie materials oh carson coleman for the boston bruins Bruins actually have a lot of volume. But yeah, um, value-wise, like, the heat rate's not going to be there, but, or, and same with Hayden. Like, Hayden, his, like, normally the players who do really well at the juniors get a bit of a bump if they have stuff, but Hayden, for some reason, didn't get it. Uh, Bemstrom for the Blue Jackets. I think it's probably because he's in Arizona and then he got injured immediately after, so the hype died down a little bit. But, um, yeah. Just one of those weird little card phenomenons that happens. Uh, Nygaard for the Oilers. So, a few packs left here. Really good box again. Um, in terms of just like a, another one of one, which you can never really complain about. Kako Retro for the Rangers. Uh, you, again, like a one of one out of Series 1, Series 2 is very, very good. So... Uh, what else do we have hiding in the box, though? So, Koi Vula for the Islanders. There we go. So I hadn't really spoken much about the Islanders yet. So we got the one box SP Authentic left. Um, I mean, it's been a pretty crazy break. Uh, Hannafin Canvas for the... Uh, what we call it? Flames. And... But yeah, it's been a crazy break so far. Hopefully, we can end on a pretty big note here. Uh, Morgan Frost for the Flyers. I mean, if the theme of one of one holds up across the boxes, and that, I mean, that bodes well for SP Authentic, because that means it's a future watch auto patch black variation. Um, Connor Clifton for the Bruins. So, and solid box. Good and decent one of one to get. So, um, nice hit there for the Senators. That was uh, Paul. Nice hit, Paul. And a couple just decent stuff along the way. So here we go. Final box of the break, everyone. SP Authentic. Uh, we'll do a, definitely a big recap. Also, we don't need to ram these off anymore so they can get straight into the pile. Hopefully we... Uh, I mean, normally I'm never like super hopeful for randoms just because they can be a little bit like more tedious and frustrating, but... If we have a random and SP authentic, uh, that's normally a good sign. Because it's normally a sign of the times duels or triples or quads or six ways or even eight way. I think there's eight ways for SP authentic. So here we go. Final box. And good luck, everyone, on it. Thank you so much. Uh, it's been a fun break today. Lots of cool stuff. Started off really strong. Hopefully, we can end on it as strong of a note but the recap is going to be pretty epic all right we've got a lot of really good stuff here so there we go all right here we go good luck everyone and i'll try to save the autos for the end um if they pop up they look at the plastic just peel off this pack by the way like i have never seen that before like just how easily it peeled off. Dak Future Watch. Hey, well, hope, hopefully we see that because I think boxes with their redemptions have three autos. So 
He's a redemption. Looks like we got a regular SP Essentials of Brock Besser for the Canucks. Besser SP Essentials for the Canucks. I'm just going to move the stack of Young Guns further up because I'm not going to need as much access to it as a regular insert uh, stuff. And redemption boxes have seemed to normally have three autos in them, so we will find out though. Uh, Spectrum FX of Svetch for the Hurricanes. They also have a funny texture to them, I like it. Yeah, the packs, uh, my biggest complaint about SP Authentic, and same with credentials, is just that the packs are really, really tough to open. Um, they don't tear nicely, so. Uh, level one, uh, Future Watch FX of Trevor Moore for the Toronto Maple Leafs. So, but yeah, hopefully we can see a maybe a DAC Future Watch auto patch. You know, that'd be uh, would that be okay? I think I think that would be okay. Ah, uh, see, same thing with the packs. They just don't they don't open very nicely. <laughs> and when you're opening a lot of them, it can be. Pretty tedious. Uh, that's a that's an autograph, so we will save that. Uh, which means our other autograph is probably in one of these upcoming packs here. So I'll just try to. That's an update base of Alec Martinez for the Vegas Golden Knights. Golden Knights had a heck of a break. Two autos out of SP Authentic. Um, Cody Glass, Acetate, Young Gun. And what more can you really ask for here? Uh, looks like nothing fancy here. Just a base red of Besser for the Canucks. Canucks had a good break. You got the Quinn Hughes Young Gun. Actually, you hit all three Canucks Young Guns, so. Ugh, there we go. But I think Dax stuff is all redemptions in this. That's probably just an SP Essentials or Authentic Moments. Yep, Bennington Authentic Moments for the Blues. Uh, this might be an auto here. Oh, SP Essentials. Or Winners or something like that. But SP Essentials of Gibson for the Ducks. He had a bit of an off year this year. He's normally like just absolutely lights out, but for some reason just had a little bit of an off year. He probably honestly should have won best in the last year with how good he was. There we go. Uh, that's a future watch auto there, so we'll save that one. We'll save that one probably for last. So, uh, authentic moments of Tuka Rask, the Winter Classic for the Bruins. Yeah. The packs with the decoys are especially tough to open up. Uh, looks like just a regular base here of Stamkos for the Lightning. So we do have our two autos coming. If we get another auto, it'll be a bonus auto. Love to see that. This looks like a base red of Tavares for the Leafs. Leafs had a good break. There are lots of teams that had good breaks, actually. Lots of teams had good breaks. Like Colorado had a good break. Um with the Makar, especially. Uh, what we got here? Young Guns of Kale Clegg for the LA Kings. Not a bad one there, good little defenseman. Eh. Yeah, these packs are very frustrating to open up. Oh. Uh, Marc-Andre Fleury for Vegas on the Limited. I think Vegas has hit like all their base in the limited parallels today. Feels like it at least. So let's see if we can get a bonus auto because I'm pretty sure those are two autos. I think we have a sign of the times retro and then a uh, future watch. So uh, McDavid for the Oilers on the authentic moments. This is our, I think our last chance to patch. Doesn't look like we're getting a patch here. Uh, we've got uh, an update of Coleman for the Lightning. Everything is frightening. Come on, let's see a bonus auto. That's what we want to see here. 
uh, patch snack update for the Bruins. So last pack, last chance at the bonus auto here. We will see if we can get one. Doesn't look like it, but it is an SP Essentials of John Carlson for the Washington Capitals. Okay, let's save the future watch for... No, let's do the future watch first. It is... For the Ottawa Senators, Joey Dackard. So Ottawa, heck of a break there. Nice future watch autograph there for the Senators. Again, our names on the future watches weren't great. That seems a little bit thicker than a normal uh, future watch card, but names on the future watches weren't great, but we did hit the Jack Hughes uh, rookie sign of the times. So that's always good. And then this is probably going to be a decent one. I just want to pull the checklist up so I have it uh, right beside me here. Uh, I don't know if I'll have it, but we'll see here. All right. Uh, who's it going to be? Sign of the times for Colorado. Kale McCarr, sign of the times, retro for the Colorado Avalanche. Well, Colorado, you had a heck of a break here. Uh, I don't even know what actual set this is. This is the Rookie Sign of the Times Retro set. Uh, yeah, that is uh, that's pretty nuts. Uh, let's see if I can just find the... Uh, uh, so he has a Group B, which is like... I mean, Group B is a quote-unquote easier group to hit, but it's still like 1 in 1,035 packs, so super tough to hit card there. Wow. Uh, for four boxes of SP Authentic, that's pretty nuts. I'm glad we saved that one for the end. <laughs> that's a good way to end the break. All right, so I'll do a quick little recap here. Uh, let me just get everything sorted. Um, cause yeah, there's a lot of stuff to recap, but again, thank you everyone for, who got a spot in, uh, be on the lookout for Saturday's break being posted up in the next couple days or so. Um, cause it's going to be, it's going to be a fun one. So uh, let me just organize the hits here into a pattern that, you know, kind of makes sense. Um, sure, sure. You can probably go here. Um, I honestly don't know which one of the, I think this one will be a little bit bigger than that one. So we'll put that here. Uh, this, 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 I think. Go something like this. So let's go there. Um, this one definitely down here. Uh, this one's probably there as well. Uh, get the young guns in a good order here. Those are probably in an okay order. Those are in an okay order now. So I'm just getting everything ordered for the recap here. And that's in a good spot. That's good. Uh, the fluorescence can go back here. This can go there. This can go here. These can go there. These can go here. All right. We are good for the recap. So, uh, oh, before we get too far into the recap here, um, we have a, uh, so three base parallels that kind of were, you know, just cool to recap, uh, the exclusives of Roman Yossi for the Predators and then two clear cuts, one of Jason Zucker for the Wild, the other of Colin Wilson for the Avalanche. Avalanche had a heck of a break. Um, and then, so kind of our top young guns, we hit a Kubelik, uh, Olofsson, uh, Kako, uh, Suzuki, but SP Authentic, we hit a David Ayers. Nice one to get. And then a Quinn Hughes. Uh, we've also hit Adam Fox and Barrett Hayden as well. So lots of good young guns in this break overall. Uh, we had a case hit in the retro or yeah, retro black border of Connor Bunneman to 100 for the Flyers. And then also a case hit in the red rookie of Rasmus Sandin for the Leafs. That's a really tough one to get. Uh, we hit two retired legend canvases. One of Gordie Howe for the Red Rings. The other Guy Carboneau for the Habs. Uh, we hit... Uh, one of one buyback from Series 2 of Danny Heatley for the Ottawa Senators. Nice little one of one buyback there. Um, we hit uh, Connor Timmins, Program of Excellence Canvas for the Avalanche. 
Avalanche obviously got a lot. Uh, Kirby Dak Fluorescence for the Blackhawks. It's a nice little one to get there. Uh, and then a clear cut of Carl Grundstrom for the LA Kings. Not a bad one to get. Some of our uh, autos from SP Authentic here. We had a Joey Dackard Future Watch, uh, Lean Bergman Future Watch, and Caden Fulcher Future Watch. Uh, two Sign of the Times, like regulars, of Marcia So and Alex Tuck. And then uh, Update Future Watch of Sam Steele for the Anaheim Ducks. That's a pretty good one to get, if I do say so myself. And finally, our uh, top top five hits. Yeah, top five hits. So, uh, honestly, I think this is... Uh, when you're starting off with the Matt Sundin, one of one is like your fifth best hit, I think, of the break. You're you're off to a pretty good start. So, nice one there. That's from Series 1. Um, Kale McCarr, Young Gun Canvas for the Avalanche. Pretty good one to get. And Cody Glass, Clear Cut uh, Young Gun. So, McCarr and the Glass are from the same box along with the Quinn Hughes Young Gun. Pretty insane box. Speaking of Hughes, we got both brothers. This time, though, Jack Hughes was on card in an autograph. Santa Times rookie numbered 84 of 99. Two off his jersey number. And then, hit of the break. Might as well have a Kale McCarr, Santa Times rookie auto. So, heck of a break. Overall, just really, really good stuff. Um, congrats to everyone. Um, yeah, that is really good break overall. So, anyways, keep an eye out for uh, Saturday's break to get posted in the next couple days here. Uh, Thursdays is already sold out, so uh, thank you again, everyone, for the support. Let's have one more look at the Makar here to finish things off. All right. Take care, and see you on Thursday.